Welcome to App Design Tips. I'm here at Adobe Max and I'm looking at Adobe Illustrator on the iPad for the first time. This is going to be a game changer when it comes out. It's coming out next year. But some of the things they announced was radial repeat, uh, pattern repeat, some tools that's going to make our productivity a lot more efficient. So I want to just walk through some of the features that it's going to have here once it's released. So here we have radial repeat. We just have a, an object here. If we want to repeat this in a radial pattern, we can tap over here on the right side. We have radial repeat. And we have some on-screen UI elements here. So here if we want to increase the amount of objects that's in this radial repeat, we can do that very easily. We can also uh, change the pattern here. So if we only want it to grow from the top or we want to grow it from the bottom, it's very awesome. And we also have what the radius of these objects are going to be. So it's very nice. And the cool thing is we can tap and drill into here. We can move this object. And it's moving for every single object. So this is going to make icon design, logo design, very powerful here on the iPad. And the nice thing is it's probably going to work with Creative Cloud, so you can start off on the desktop, you can bring it right in here, use the Apple Pencil, and just be really efficient. So let's move over here to Pattern Repeat, and you can see here it repeats patterns. So we have this object right here. I'm going to go into the Pattern Repeat here, and I'm just going to tap Pattern Repeat. Now we have kind of a repeat grid that you guys might be familiar with with Adobe XD, but we can grow the boundaries that this repeats here. We can also move the objects horizontally or vertically within this repeat grid, and we can grow the spacing here, so it's just really awesome. And again, we can jump down into the symbol layer, we can move these things around, and it moves everywhere. This is just amazing. Now tap with two fingers to undo anything that you might have screwed up. Let's move over to the pencil tool. This is actually what I'm really excited about, because it smooths your motions as you use the pencil tool. So, And we can go over here and just start sketching an object, something like this. Very easily, it's going to smooth some things out. And we can change, if we use uh, our pen tool here, we can move where the paths are and simplify our shapes. Go back into the pencil tool and do something like that and just trace these objects. So it's going to make it really nice for some icon design and some logo design here. Let's move on over. We've got the pen tool. Let's see how that works. So we can move over here. Oops, that's actually continuing from my other artboard. So let's go back to the pen tool here. Just click and drag. We have our Bezier paths right here. We can very quickly create a circle. Boom, boom, boom. They also announced a Pathfinder feature, so if you do have an image there, Sensei is going to be able to analyze this image and create some vector graphics from it, but I'm not seeing the feature here, so that might be something that they're still working on. But for right now, what I'm seeing, I'm very excited at the concept of using Illustrator on the iPad, and I hope you guys are too.